What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm joined by Nick and Tyler, and we are here today to talk about our Fortnite fort building tips. So we're going to be talking about specifically how to build in this game. Fort building is maybe one of the more simplistic things in this game, a game that's got a lot going on in it, both in menus and items and in all sorts of different things. So we're going to go through some of our uh, best tips and tricks in how to build an effective fort. Now, Nick, you talked about in our tips and tricks video, a pretty good way just to start out. So do you want to talk about just the more, just the base level of how you should build a fort in this game? What you want to do when you base build, and this is excluding your uh, fortress, your personal fortress, is you want to be very conservative at first, just, you know, trying to protect whatever you're trying to protect, whether it's the atlas or like, uh, you know, the other objectives in this game. Build off it a little bit, but don't go in any specific direction. Don't try to foresee how, uh, like where they're going to come from because in the beginning they do spawn kind of far away but then later like doors start to spawn like all over the place and they just they 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 can the husks can literally come from everywhere so you want to build conservatively at first and then once they start attacking um, maybe have someone hang back if you're playing with other people and have them build up towards that direction as the as more and more of them start showing up and like like you and you and me did that in which we built conservatively and then once we found a direction one of us kind of pushed forward, uh, kept the husks at bay, while the other person expanded more outward and made general traps and more of a uh, more flooring, more walls, more ceilings in that direction to to build outward. But you don't nest, you don't really want to do that in the very beginning because you can never uh, foresee it. And Nick, you also uh, found another way, uh, a kind of like a, a sneaky way to kind of hold the enemy back a little bit. So you want to talk about that? Something that uh, I found out that was really cool is if you build walls, say, you, you know, you just have your, your walls around your fort, um, you can actually build stairs going um, away from the walls, you know, like uh, not a stair, not a stairway that would be leading so that you could ju jump over the wall, but the opposite direction. And then uh, the husks have to break through the staircase before they can break through the wall. There's traps too that you can use. So Tyler, what are some traps that maybe you have even found that you like, or would you recommend that people would at least try out? I like the the floor. I think the floor traps. Um, and ceiling traps work best if comboed together. That's that's kind of like what I found. And almost, I, this is going to sound odd, if you do the combination, it doesn't really matter what floor and what ceiling traps you use because they both kind of will go off at the same time. So they'll both act um, like effectively where maybe one might not be as good, the other will make up for it being not as... Um, damaging um so that's what i've been trying to do so it's almost like you create a tunnel so like little tunnels which you got to be strategic on where you place them but but i found um that's a really good way to utilize uh traps and and even for for me when i was playing with nick you know you see a lot of people that when when, when you build a square or rectangle or whatever around your center objective you could build the ceiling tiles in there and so if they break through kind of the first walls you have the traps there but in one specific playthrough where it was just me and nick we kind of had the whole sectioned off square and then we built flooring and i built a wall and a ceiling tile like off away from the actual rectangle or square guarding the base so you can kind of just build literal um 90 degree angled ceiling and walls wherever you really want and you can that can act as a a ceiling trap so you can place them really wherever you want catch them as they're coming in you don't need to put them actually inside your base if you didn't want to so play to the kind of character that you play as and, and more to that point and and more uh going off of that is you they have defenders for a reason and you can place defender pads wherever you want to have a basic new person come up and now those are you know part of the main menu screen where you can pick your defenders they each have their own perks you can level them up but say you want a defender that is a sniper well you have the defender pop up you have to give them the weapon but then once they have that weapon they have ammo 
they can just do whatever you want them to do. And like I said, they each have their own perks. They have their own like buffers and bonuses. So you can use them. And then as to your own character, play your own character. If you're an assassin character, you need to get up close and personal. You be the one that goes out there, goes out to the husks when they appear in clears them out. If you're a sniper, you build high. You, or you maybe build a completely separate little area where you can get on the ceiling and fire down. Play to how you want to play in this game when in terms of how you're building your fort. So let us know what we missed on for our base building tips. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Podcast Now, our YouTube channel, for more of this content. Like and share this video. Make sure you go check out our tips and tricks video just in general and check back over the coming days for more tips and tricks in terms of uh, mining, crafting, and then our review and a couple other videos we have of Fortnite. So thank you for watching this video, and we will see you guys on the next one.